how many planeswalkers can we ultimate in a single turn on Magic Arena with the help of doubling season? That's what we're gonna find out today. So here's our Double Bat Walkers deck, and this deck can do some ridiculous things with Planeswalkers in Doubling Season. So Doubling Season, you probably know it. Five minute enchantment, if we'd make a token, we get twice as many instead. And if we put a counter on a permanent control, we put twice as many on it instead. And that last ability is what allows us to do some absolutely absurd things with Planeswalkers. The only downside of Doubling Season is it is kind of expensive. So we got Utopia Sprawl, Wolf of Haven to ramp into it. But let's say we ramp into our Doubling Season. How are we actually winning the game? And the answer is we are going to try to ultimate the biggest number of Planeswalkers possible all in one turn. So the main trick of this deck is Doubling Doubling Season doubles up the loyalty counters of Planeswalkers when you play them. So let's say we play Doubling Season and then we play Tamiyo Field Researcher. Normally Tamiyo comes in with four loyalty, but with Doubling Season, it's gonna double up to eight loyalty. That means we can immediately use Tamiyo's ultimate, which is a ridiculous ultimate. We draw three cards and get an emblem that says we can cast non-land cards from our hand without paying their mana cost. So essentially it's a four mana omniscience plus the Ancestral Recall. So at that point, we can cast all of our other planeswalkers for free but they are all also going to come in with double loyalty and if you look through our planeswalkers every single one of them can ultimate right away with the doubling season on the battlefield so we can play in this who shakes the world and negative eight to get essentially all the lands out of our deck we can play nuke in the spirit dragon we can negative 10 to draw seven cards gain seven life put seven permanents into play for finishing the game our easiest plan is a johnny sleeper agent we play ultimate it, get an emblem where whenever he casts a creature planeswalker opponent gets two poison counters so I guess kind of for Super Friends doubling season in fact. We can also just make infinite Jace Cunning Castaways, uh, play it, negative five it to make two non-legendary copies. Those get the double loyalty so they inactivate right away so we can just make a ridiculous amount of Jaces. Nissa's Steward of Elements, Scries in the early game, make some big flyers in the late game. And then Ren at seven and Nissa Vital Force. They're kind of weird, but they return permanence from our graveyard to our hand. Ren, all of our permanents. Nissa Vital Force, one permanent. So really they're to get back our other more important planes Walkers. So we can like Tamio and then Ren to get back to Tamio and draw more cards and Omniscience or Ugin again to draw more cards. We do these weird loops where we can like draw a bunch of Ugins and ultimate them all and like legend rule themselves and then play Ren at the end to get all the Ugins back to our hand. So essentially we're going to poison our opponent out of the game or just eventually have all of our doubling seasons and play like a Nisu who shakes the world and turn a land into a creature, but it's going to get four times as many counters on it. So it just like one shots our opponent. There's so many ways. Once we start doing it it's just this huge immense amount of planeswalker value that is pretty much unbeatable so that's the goal of the deck doubling season as fast as possible ultimate as many planeswalkers as possible otherwise we got some removal to help us stay alive mana base mostly all forest so we can get as many lands as possible out of our deck with nissa's ultimate only exceptions a couple of basic lands in the sideboard a bunch of counters for control some sweepers and removal for aggro pithy needle for the one ring and planeswalker soul guide lander for graveyard decks and that is is double bant walkers for historic that's our budget brew deck for today so let's jump into some games and see just how many planeswalkers we can ultimate in the same turn on magic arena with the help of doubling season thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoy it and i'll be back in a bit for the wrap up need some magic cards well you can snag them from our sponsor card kingdom over at cardkingdom.com slash mtg goldfish it is some doubling season Bant Super Friends time. We're going to see just how wild we can go with <laughs> with doubling season now on Magic Arena for the first time. And this hand, actually pretty good. I mean, we need another land and hopefully not to get Thought Seize, but we have Ramp, we have doubling season. We have Ramp, we have doubling season, we have Tamiyo. That is exactly what we are hoping to have in our opening hand opponent castle lock lane you know what i think we actually just run out this nissa x1 to start scrying so we draw the nissa we zero this nissa put the land into play play this land play doubling season fable of the meal breaker all right so I think this works. So we get to zero. Yes. Untapped. Yes. Doubling season. And 
now we see if our opponent finds a thought seize actually they need two thought seizes because we have this ren so our main payoff is tamio our main wow they didn't even draw on discard so our main payoff is tamio omniscience mode if their Rakdos deck kills our doubling season, I am going to cry. I am literally going to cry. Magic Gods, Croxa. All right, so we'll discard this Nissa. Well, we're not getting Invoke Despaired, so that's good. Going to get in, hit the Nissa, down to one. We draw Fragment Reality. Well, okay. I think it's party time. So let's scry with this Nissa to set up this Tamio. Land, eh, I guess we can keep it Johnny. Okay, so, play Tamio, doubles the counters, ultimate Tamio, draw three cards, get an Omniscience, play a Tamio for free, <laughs> and, uh, and let's ultimate that one. You never, you never have too many Omniscience emblems, right? <laughs> uh, all right, let's play this a Johnny. I guess we should have played this a Johnny first, technically. Play the Johnny, ultimate a Johnny. Play Ren, poison you. <laughs> we are kind of going off ultimate Ren. Get back all the permanents from our graveyard. Play Nissa, poison you. <laughs> what is this turn? Is this turn four? Nissa, we will take all the lands out of our deck just to make sure we're drawing a uh, solid gas here. Our mana base is built in a way where Nissa gets literally every single land. There's no, no non-forest in our mana base. Uh, all right, grab all the lands. Actually, I guess that's not true. We have a basic planes, almost, almost true. All right, so grab all the lands. Now we can play another Tamio. Hopefully we draw some action. Since we don't have lands in our deck. All right, uh, third ultimate of Tamio Field Researcher. Well, Wolf Willow, that's awkward. Wolf Willow Haven, are we fizzling now? Did we do all this only to fizzle? Wolf Willow Haven for free. Utopia Sprawl for free. Put it on white. Doubling season again. We can't activate any more Planeswalkers. We can cycle Scattered Groves. Come on! Ay! Ugin! Yes, Ugin's a good one. And uh, that was a good cycle. Ugin is going to come in with 28 loyalty, so we will ultimate, draw seven. <laughs> uh, we'll put a land into play, and then uh, we'll play this Nissa, and I think that's the Ajani kill, right? Poison counter number 10. Hey, opponent playing the best deck in the format, but. <laughs> <laughs> Doubling season is here. So that was what, turn four, turn five? Maybe it was turn five. We ultimated three Tamios, ultimated a Johnny, and played enough Planeswalkers to <laughs> poison our opponent out of the game. I mean, our opponent's deck is still very strong. They have a lot of thought seizes, which is annoying. I think we gotta go down the, the Mimi Jace here, unfortunately. Go down the Mimi Jace. You know one sideboard card that I didn't really consider that might be worth it in this deck is, I could see playing Leyline of Sanctity just to protect against the thought seizes. Maybe Anissa who shakes the world. Let's try it like that. Haha, -ha, just kidding. <laughs> we need 60 cards. Uh, actually, we want both farewells though, right? I think farewells are, we have a lot of ramp. Farewell is our get out of jail free card, essentially. I mean, we're gonna keep this. We might not cast anything this game. We don't have any ramp and we only have two lands, but uh, I mean, we got doubling season, double tamios and the farewell. So if we ever get to the point of casting our spells, Look out, Rakdos. Plus, we're kind of thought seized proof. I mean, what are you going to take? A, a something we're, that we probably weren't going to cast anyway, so. Well, tap land, go. Drawing a land is fine. Drawing ramp would be even finer, I think. Oh, boom. It could use a Wolf Willow Haven or Utopia Sprawl. We take a Utopia Sprawl. Black Cleave Cliffs and Kroxa. Your opponent is all in on the discard plan. Well, we'll discard this very expensive Ugin. Well, I mean, we're hitting our land drops at least, so. Opponent, untap land, Fable. At some point, they're gonna have to take this doubling season because our Planeswalkers are much fairer if they're not immediately ultimating. That's kind of the whole gimmick, is doubling season to immediately ultimate, so that's the, that well, it takes the Tamio. The thing is, we have, We have many Planeswalkers, but only four doubling seasons. So I think that taking the doubling season, unless our opponent just has enchantment removal, but I think that taking the doubling season is the the way to go. 
go blank. Okay, well, can we draw a land? That is a lot of discard. Ooh, ooh, that's not a land. All right. Oh, I really wish we drew a land instead of this Nissa. Seriously. All right, and there's the land. So our opponent has officially cast, have they made us discard six cards? I'm pretty sure they made us discard six cards into, well, there's some ramp. I'm pretty sure we discarded six cards this game into into the shield red. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, honestly, we're never going to beat a discard six. <laughs> that is an entire hand of awesome combo pieces, totally ruined by six discard spells. Well, there's doubling season. We will play it. I mean, I guess the doubling season gives us some shot. That does mean we could top deck a Planeswalker, Orcish Bowmasters. Although the problem we're gonna have here is, I don't think we can Omniscience combo because of our opponent having a ton of card draw hate. Jeez, um. All right, eight and officially dead, okay. Well, maybe, like, I guess we'll see how often we play against Rakdos, but maybe, maybe it would be worth Maybe it would be worth adding a uh, light line to the sideboard. That was a ridiculous amount of discard. Over over the top amount of discard. I mean, we're gonna keep this. Double tap land is not ideal in Thought Seize meta, but we'll see. Opponent, also a tap land. We draw forest. Play the forest, Wolf Willow Haven. I do like that we can potentially get down this Nissa to scry. That worked well in game one. Opponent mountain and passes. Well, okay, scattered grove. Tapped. Tamio X1. Let the scrying begin. Opponent stomps it. Doesn't die though. I don't think so. Bottom bottom. This is a huge turn. Because we can actually play the doubling season. If we don't get Thought Seize here, we get down Doubling Season. Go Blank, Fragment Reality, and I think we gotta go Tamio, sadly. However, this means we get down the Doubling Season. So, untap land, Doubling Season. And now we trust that this Nissa Scrying. Well, land, land to the bottom. Those are not what we are looking for past the turn. We trust that this Nissa, this Scrying from Nissa will find us a Tamio or a Nissa, or like, Pretty much anything at this point. Opponent runs out bone crusher. Yep. Farewell. Well, we will double scry. Doubling season bottom. Land to the bottom. Okay, pass the turn. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. It's the Nissa. Down to one. We draw. Oh, Tamio. That's what we were looking for. There's the Tamio. Double it up. Omniscience Emblem. Draw some cards. Well, kind of whiff. Uh, scry with Nissa. Uh, definitely want the Ugin. That one will stay. Farewell, creatures. Utopia's Brawl, our forest, and... Yeah, we don't really need lands now. We'll pass the turn. All right, well, this is it. Our opponent needs to destroy the doubling season this turn, or... This Ugin comes down in ultimates and, wow, they're still playing Ritualissa and just straight up wins the game. She Shieldred. Well, yeah, that's annoying because we want to draw seven cards. So let's Fragment Reality. Bowmasters, that's annoying because we want to draw seven cards. All right, yes, kill you two. We're gonna, we're just gonna keep doing this. All right, we have answered the card draw hate. Our opponent. Feeling good, but there's bad news, friend. We have a Nugan. It will immediately ultimate. Draw seven, gain seven, put seven permanents into play. Uh, Utopia Sprawl, Ren, Land, Wolf Willow Haven, a Johnny Sleeper Agent. Actually, we want to cast Ren. Okay, do it this way. Uh, sure, doesn't matter. So, a Johnny Emblems. Nissa Scries. Wow, those are pretty bomby cards. I think we just combo kill now. Ren, poison you. And Ren ultimates, gets back the Tamio. Tamio, poison you. <laughs> it's kind of like we're playing a different game. Uh, Emblem Tamio, draw three. Nissa, poison you. Take down the Nissa, get all the lands out of the deck. Uh, yeah. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this has been a pretty pretty good game. Pretty good. <laughs> Wait, did we just cross Rakdos? Did we just beat the One Ring and Bowmasters and Shieldred and all the other busted cards? Uh, yeah, put all the lands into play. So opponent's at six poison, so we just need one more Planeswalker. Uh, Tamio, poison you. Keep the new Tamio, Emblem Tamio. Draw three cards. And uh, Little Nissa, poison you. And... That's the power of doubling season. My God. I forgot. So there was a deck a long, oh, I'm talking about modern of like five, 10 years ago. There was this deck called Double Moonwalkers in modern that kind of had a similar concept, except uh, it had Blood Moon too, which sadly we can't play because Wizards banned it. But doubling season, look at this board. Look at this combo kill. That doubling season with Planeswalkers is one of the coolest things you can do in all of Magic. Like, wow, 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 wow. And, <laughs> I mean, we could have kept going. We nicely just killed our opponent with this uh, Ajani, but we could have played and ultimated another Ugin uh, and just kept going and eventually won by looping, I don't even know, like something, Nissa's from turning creatures into huge attack or lands into huge attackers. We would have won somehow. So, yeah, that, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Sweet, sweet. It is doubling season time. We, well, okay, we're gonna keep this. I mean, we can ramp into doubling season. Oh, don't thaw see Esper Sentinel, that's annoying. I was gonna say we don't have any Planeswalkers and kinda we still don't. Ren is not a very good first Planeswalker, although we can play it and make a big, a big body, which is something. Opponent hits us with Esper Sentinel. Yeah, let's keep playing tap lands for now. I think we're going to wait in Haven next turn when we can pay the one. All right, there's a Bowmasters. Definitely going to need to find a Wrath. Going to need to find a Wrath. That's another reason to play this bar as headquarters is... Gives us the mana for... Oh, we really need to draw Wrath. Temp wow, it's even more lands. Okay. Not looking great. We'll pay the one. Three, four, five, six. Oh, what I would give for a Supreme... Oh. Okay, we need a top deck Supreme Verdict this turn. Like, literally this turn. Wolf Willow Haven. Yeah. Well, I will say, our deck can be a tiny bit slow sometimes. Our opponent was on the play that game, and they just were off to a super fast start. We can bring in a bit more removal. We can go down Meme Jace. We can go down Nissa Vital Force. I guess one Nissa who shakes the world is fine. Let's, let's run it like that. Although, that hand probably... We didn't get Thoughtseize, but... That hand didn't have any removal anyway. This hand is much better. Assuming we don't get Thoughtseize, but this hand we can ramp into Supreme Verdict. And that's pretty, pretty, pretty big deal, it seems like. Our opponent just kind of spewed their hand last game. Yeah, okay, well, there's the Thoughtseize. I imagine they take the Supreme Verdict. Wow, it takes Wolf Willow Haven. Okay, so opponent's gonna hope we don't get to Supreme Verdict, I guess? Opponent, Phyrexian Tawa. Well, play land. Nisa X1. Start scrying for manas. Alright, opponent has a Bowmasters. Well, oh boy, bottom, bottom. That's actually scary. Oh, if we don't hit a land, we're in trouble. Another Bowmasters. Uh, magic gods. <laughs> magic gods. Don't do it to us this way, please. Found it. Kills our Nissa. There goes our scrying. Okay, we hit the land, so we will get rid of this board. All right. Now we're land away from Nizza. We don't have the doubling season at the moment. Well, play the tap land past the turn. Opponent. Very good at drawing Bowmasters. Yup, down to 17. What they don't know is we actually have another Supreme Verdict. Opponent gets and hits us. Passes. Yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna play another Nissa Steward of Elements. Go back to Scry. We really wanna find doubling season. Yeah, I mean, I think we bottomed these both. We have plenty of removal at the moment. We do have a fourth Bowmaster? Okay, no Bowmaster. Our opponent is having some serious mana issues at the moment. We draw land. Well, we will Nissa Scry to Forest to the bottom. I'll play the tap land. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth it. And up. Uh, yeah, opponent. Two lands not gonna not gonna get it done. Well, we didn't do the cool doubling season thing, but we also beat triple bowmaster draw, which is kind of sweet. Well, we see that removal is essential. Our opponent's pretty aggro. We're on the draw again. 
I mean, we are keeping this. Thoughtseize could be a disaster. We don't have a sweeper. Esper Sentinel. Well, tap land, go. We do, though, have doubling season. Utopia Sprawl. Auto pay. No! Oh my god. Oh, we're dead. No way. No way. Now we will not cast anything the rest of this game. No way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I guess the one weakness of our archetype is mana. No, you don't have two mana ties. Wow, that is a ridiculous amount of counters for an Orzhov deck. Okay. Opponent draws a land. I guess if you gotta lose, lose to lose to mana tithe. Brutal. Brutal. That hand was so good too. You really should play more mana tithe. That card's busted. Well, Thought Seize would be an issue, but uh Utopia's Pro this is turn three doubling season, turn four, put all of our lands into play. I'm excited about that possibility. Wait, is this actually true? It is true, right? Play that, tap that. Uh, so we gotta play this on green past the turn. Opponent swap, opponent. Oh, takes the Nisa. Well, we will play a planes, tap both of these. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's put this on the forest on blue. Put this on the planes. All right, no more thought seizes, opponent. Opponent, swamp, passes. Well, we will doubling season. Gonna hold on to this Utopia Sprawl for a turn in case there's a Liliana. All right, there's a Bowmasters. All right, we're, we are close. We are close. Opponent, swamp, gets in, hits us. Down to 17. So, Utopia Sprawl. Let's make sure we do this properly. All right, tap this, Utopia Sprawl. White. This taps for what? Okay, so we have five mana. So Nissa X3 doubles up to six. We're gonna scry two. Okay, okay, how much mana do we have? Is that four Utopias? Three, four, five, six, seven. And then this ability, reveal the top card of your library if it's a land or creature. All right, so I think I think we just leave Nissa on top. We're gonna hold on to this land. So our plan is play the Nissa. Ugh, double bow masters, okay. That is a clock. Opponent hits the Nissa. At least this Nissa is providing a good distraction. Oh God, and also a Shieldred. Boy, I hate those cards. All right, Shieldred triggers. Well, we'll play a Nissa. We will emblem the Nissa. Get every land out of our deck oh we're gonna have to find a sweeper though gonna have to find a sweeper though because our opponent has a lot of punishment for drawing cards so we are gonna need to find like an ugin now sadly we had to shuffle our ugin away all right so every land 19. so we're gonna have a lot of mana that's good scry with nissa so I think we gotta put these to the bottom, right? Like, Tamiyo is the combo, but Tamiyo requires us drawing three cards, which is, I don't even know, six. It's too much damage, yeah. All right, well, Shieldred, still a good card. Well, we'll pass the turn. Opponent untaps. At least they're distracted by our Planeswalkers, although we're gonna lose our Scry. So basically, we need to draw Ugin or Supreme Verdict. Those are the those are the draws. Castle Lockwain. Yep, draws a card. Shieldred. Gain some life. Nissa Vital Force. Is there any way we can kill our opponent? So we can play this Nissa. We can get back this Nissa. What? I think our only legitimate plan there was get back Nissa Stewart development, scry, try to cycle to find Ugin or Supreme Verdict. I'm pretty sure we were dead on board. Like, I think we just die if our opponent does not scoop there. I I do not know how else we were going to get out of that. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to complain. We're not going to complain. We'll take the freebie. Even that, I guess we get to see a pretty good, pretty good glimpse of the power of doubling season. The card is pretty ridiculous. 
it's either like the most spectacular games of all time or we we just get run over by aggro <laughs> one or the other we even beat a thought seas we beat a thought seas opponent opponent how many thought seas do you have this time Ooh. i mean we're gonna keep this sadly this hand's pretty slow no ramp spells but it has quite literally everything we need to win the game uh well breeding pool tapped yeah, our best draw is Wolfalo Haven or Utopia Sprawl, I think, just to speed things up a bit. Demolition Field. Well, play Sparza. I mean, I guess we can just make land drops. We have plenty of basics, so this is not gonna this is not gonna ruin our day. Yeah, let's take a planes. This kind of works out because planes and island are the lands we can't actually get with this Nisa opponent. The one ring. I feel like this is gonna spin our opponent into Bowmasters, but we can't let them go off with it, so yeah. Get rid of the one ring. About it. Finds. Sheoldred's Assimilator. Okay. Exiles a demolition field? Well, play the land. Wolf Willow Haven. I mean, let's see if they get a Thought Seize. We have the doubling season. Field of Ruin. Cannot blow up a basic, thankfully. Oh, opponent's gonna go on the strip mine plan, but it's, we have enough basics. This is not going to ruin our day. They could have like an Invoke Despair or something. That would be bad. Uh, we will grab a Plains. Gets in. Exiles of Field of Ruin. Yeah, hits us, down to 17. Well, doubling season. All right, this is it. Do you have an Invoke to spare? Do you have a Feed the Swarm? Do you have something in your mono black deck that can ruin our day? Ponet gonna blow up the breeding pool. I mean, our hand is pretty redundant here too. Yeah, we need, I guess we need an island. Well, this is it. Let's see if they have an answer. I guess the other thing that'd be good for them is something that punishes our card drawing. Like Shield Red. I don't know if that's enough though, especially since we have Supreme, I think we win. Do they have a feed? The, they need exactly feed the swarm. All right, so we go to 12. Sure. However, play a Tamiyo. I don't think Black has too many instant speed enchantment removal. Uh, emblem the Tamiyo. Draw three cards, get an Omniscience Emblem. They could have Bowmasters. All right, there's a Bowmasters. We will, in response, get rid of the Bowmasters. Okay, so we get Drain, Supreme Verdict for free, Nissa for free, Emblem, get the lands. I mean, we should be good. Oh, this deck is so sweet. <laughs> this deck is, it's just such a sweet way to win a game of Magic. Trying to go quick so our opponent doesn't scoop. Oh! We found the downside of our archetype. Ramping 19 lands takes too long for some opponents, so we don't get to see the cool things. I guess, honestly, I think I punted a little bit there. What we should have done is played this Nissa first and emblemed it, and then we would have drawn 20 cards. Yeah, so even there we kind of punted. I mean, I guess the thing is, once you get to this point, like, it's it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to actually lose once you have the Omniscience Emblem and you're like just drawing so many cards. We had another Tamiyo in hand, but yeah, that would have actually been even a better blind is to just play an ultimate this first, then Nissa, get 19 lands, draw 19 cards, and then we are 1 million percent to combo kill this turn. Yeah, <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. It is doubling season time. Finally have one of the sweetest enchantments in all, oh, this hand, in all of Magic on Arena for the first time. Sadly, our lands are a bit tapped, but, uh, other than that, this hand is kind of what we want. An untapped land would be the best. We are on the draw. Opponent's gruel, so they could be pretty aggro. Like, we have the combo. That We have the full combo. Like, doubling season into Tamiyo. We even have Ugin and Nit. Like, we have everything to win the game. Can we live long enough to... Ooh, they're a blue... Oh. Oh, okay. Opponent missed a land drop, though. Well, that's Utopia Sprawl. On green. Scattered Grove. Okay, we would like to draw land, that would be fine. Tap land. Ilsid carry added, land. Ooh, that is a land, that is a land. So, this means we can play this untapped. Play this on the breeding pool. Play a Tamiyo, X1. 
Scry with Tamio. I think we actually just put... Uh, do we keep the doubling season? What if they have a counter? That's my one concern. Yeah, we're actually going to keep the doubling season to be safe. All right. Let's see if they got counters, because we are two turns away from winning. Cultivate. Or maybe our opponent just does something even more busted. If they can ramp into Ugin, one, two, three, four, five, six. If they can ramp into Ugin, that could beat us. Pona hits us. Well, uh, doubling season. And scry with Nissa. Keep them both. Well, all right, opponent. Let's see what you got. One, two, three, four. I think they're one short of Ugin, right? Chandra. Okay, we don't care about Chandra. Yeah, I mean, kill, kill. Yes, you got us. You got us, opponent. You got us. Let's have some fun. So, Tamio Field Researcher. Ultimate. It. Omniscience time. We will put a doubling season into play for free. We will play a Nissa. Get a few counters on it. We will emblem Nissa to get all the lands out of our deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this deck is so spectacular. I'm sorry. Th this is where people scoop because this clicking takes so long. This is the downside to playing. Okay, 17 lands. They enter tap, but it doesn't matter because we have omnid. This is actually just deck thinning. So we thin the deck. Uh, we play a Johnny Sleeper Agent. I guess we could have played this earlier. We emblem a Johnny Sleeper Agent. We play an Ugin. Uh, poison you. That's gonna come in and opponent. Aww. Doesn't want to see the fun. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we bring in some Dovin's Vetoes to resolve our stuff. What do we go down? This doesn't, they don't seem like a deck where Supreme Verdict's gonna be that good. Pithing Needle could be effective. Mystical Dispute. Maybe we just overload on counters. Sorry. Sorry, Meme Jace. Uh, we might never see the Infinite Jace combo just because we sideboarded out a lot because it's by far the worst card in our deck. Uh, yeah, let's, let's try something like that. Bring in all the counters. Oh, this deck is so sweet when it goes off. <laughs> and it goes off more consistently than you'd think. Like, yeah, sometimes we get got by aggro. Yeah, if you have a bunch of counter spells, it can be sad, but it actually works pretty well. No doubling season, no ramp, no blue mana. All right, this one will keep. Uh, let's just put Ren, I guess, to the bottom. Ooh, Utopia Sprawl, all right. Well, Utopia Sprawl on white. You. Pwn it with the World Tree. Well, Sparrow's Headquarters and Wolf of Haven. Go. Would kind of like to draw a land. Pwn's going to cultivate. Sure. Land or doubling season, I think, are our best draws. Mystical Dispute. So this is on white, right? Okay, so... Wolf Willow Haven. Pass the turn. Leave up our counters. They could have like Anissa, which we'd want to counter here. A Vivian. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's good enough to counter. Doubling season. Fragment reality. Are we passing? That feels so bad. I'm really scared. We only have two lands. I'm very scared to turn them into into creatures with Nissa. You know what? We don't live in fear. We don't live in fear. Let's turn this land that taps for roughly infinite mana into a creature. Hit ya. Pass the turn. Please don't kill our breeding pool because we really want that mana. Opponent, Rockfall Veil. Chandra. Well, okay. We will veto that. And opponent scoops it up. <gasps> oh! Well, that one was scary because if our opponent could kill this land, we were kind of not going to play magic. But uh, we're actually ranking up in, in Diamond, which is kind of a fairly high rank with, uh, with doubling season super friends. No doubling season that game. The only thing I just, the only tiny thing I dislike about this deck is once we start to go off, people do sometimes start to scoop. But eh, eh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Sand's kind of slow. We don't have any ramp. We definitely don't have a doubling season, but maybe just playing Tamio into Ren is good enough. Or maybe we draw a doubling season. Could happen. It is possible. And it also, in it, boy, we have a, a lot of Planeswalkers. A ramp spell would be pretty helpful. Utopia Sprawl, the Wolf one, any any ramp. Any ramp would be good. Uh, opponent's playing control. Boo. Well, I mean, if our opponent's on control, maybe this is fine. Maybe the plan of just... <clears throat> Casting a Planeswalker every turn <laughs> will be good enough. Wow, that's a lot of Nissas. Uh, well, okay, Tamio, do you have a counter? If we draw land, an untap land, we can spend the next... Wow. 
resolves. Unfortunately, this Tamiyo doesn't do anything, but uh, we'll take it up. We could get to the ultimate. If we get to the ultimate, it does things. Well, maybe they realize it doesn't do anything. I was gonna say I'm surprised they didn't counter it, but... All right, baby shark, do 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 do. Uh, I mean, that's fine. That gives us a creature to target at least. They're definitely control wandering emperor and takes up on the shark. Sure. This would be a really nice turn to draw a land. Oh, tapped. That's unfortunate. Well, take up on the shark. Pass the turn. Opponent takes up on the shark. Hits the Tamiyo. Okay. Well, I mean, if we get to draw a couple of cards out of the Tamiyo, that's still worth it. <laughs> We've literally drawn all four Nizzas. <laughs> really wish one of these was a double league season at the moment. Opponent. Blades. The fairy hero of Dominaria. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Opponent. I feel like this is a matchup that should get better after sideboarding once we get to bring in actually all right we got to try to play in this uh please don't counter it should get better after sideboarding when we get to bring in a bunch of counters all right so we will nissa the land we care about the least tamio tick up tick up attack to fairy oh wow it actually worked okay hits to fairy we get to draw a card Play this bar as headquarters. Okay. I was not expecting that Nisa to resolve. We might actually have a shot now. If we untap with the Nissa, we can potentially Ugin. All right, another Shark Typhoon. How does our opponent not have any counters in their blue control deck? I mean, they do got Teferi. They got the Wanderer and Emperor. It's not like our opponent's in bad shape. Ugin would totally ru ruin our opponent's day, though. In our dream world, they, like, fire up this Cave of the Frostbagon to kill a Planeswalker. That would be the best thing for us. I mean, they probably do have a bunch of creature removal that's not great. I guess I can kill our lands now, but opponent. If we actually untap with Nissa, we get to we get to play multiple planeswalkers potentially. Wow. Archmage is charmed to draw. Opponent. Gonna hit the Tamio. Okay, well, <clears throat> they do get to untap lands because of Teferi. We draw Breeding Pool, but we're gonna have a lot of mana here discards well we will breeding pool untapped play a tamio if our opponent counters this they're probably dead well that worked out about as well as we could hope because now we get to tap this for mana untap this Ooh, again the spirit dragon and negative five we lose our nissa but there's many more Nissas where that came from, and we still have the Ugin. <laughs> All right, hit you down 18. I can't believe this is working. Okay, opponent, land. Are we gonna be blue eye control? Wrath of God blows up our lands. That makes us a bit sad, but we still have an Ugin. If our opponent can't deal with this Ugin, well, okay. Uh, bolt your face. Play a Nisa. Do we have counters now? <laughs> I mean, there's. We literally have every every Nissa in our deck. Opponent, Archmage's Charm. Sure. But our opponent is slowly, slowly going to run out of resources here, trying to <laughs> trying to deal with a Planeswalker every day. And if we ever draw a doubling season, then we just start ultimating Planeswalkers. Kind of want a basic forest. If we put the Utopia Sprawl on a dual land, they get to Field of Ruin it. Or maybe they just Field of Ruin right now. That would be, they're looking at our land, okay. Well, I mean, we want a basic forest, so thank you, Yashu. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> kind of worked out for the best. Ooh, hard cash shark typhoon. That is a little scary. Well, thankfully, we have, let's see. So float a mana, play this on white. Play another Nissa. We have drawn all planeswalkers. Untap the island. Oog in your face. Hit you with the island. <laughs> oh, I wish we had a doubling season, but this is kind of working. About it, land. Narrs that part of the veils makes a 3-3. Three, three. I mean, the problem our opponent has is if they can't deal with this Ugin, the Ugin can just repeatedly wrath the sharks. Like, Ugin X0 gets rid of all the tokens. All right, gave it the Frost Dragon. Come on, doubling season. Opponent hits the Ugin. Sure, sure, sure. We draw Utopia Sprawl. Utopia Sprawl. Green this time. 
play a red. Take up red. Oh, there goes a doubling season, sadly. Ugin. <laughs> and a body scoops it up. Okay. Well, I thought this would be a really bad matchup until we went to sideboarding, and then it would become much better. But uh, we actually just won game one somehow. <laughs> That is surprising. Well, now we get to go down all these wraths that are pretty bad. We get to go down these fragment realities, which are also pretty bad. Bring in Pithy Needle, bring in a bunch of counters. Poor Jace. <laughs> Poor Jace. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, Jace. Jace is always like the first card that we take out. I feel so bad for <laughs> how the mighty have fallen. Jace went from greatest planeswalker of all time to Cunning Castaway, the first card we sideboard out. But someday we're going to draw it with doubling season and make infinite Jaces. <laughs> it's going to happen. One of these. One of these days. Oh. I think we gotta, I think we gotta keep this, unfortunately. We actually have the doubling season. Doubling season is just our most explosive card. We don't have any plane, wow, two doubling seasons. We don't have any planeswalkers to go with it yet. We don't have any counters, which is awkward, but mm, all right, we'll fill Haven on the forest. So we'd love to draw a counter and a planeswalker. That would be, that would be ideal. All right, opponent, Cycle Shark Typhoon, sure, 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 passes. Well, Ren is a Planeswalker. Yeah, I mean, well, we don't have to. You know what, we're gonna play Breeding Pool Tapped. Still no white mana, but I really wanna cycle this Sparrow's Headquarters. We're actually pretty close to, to winning, maybe. All right, Shark Typhoon, this time actually makes a shark. Well, next turn we get to start casting things. No defense at the moment, but opponent plays a planes and gets in with a shark. Sure, sure, sure. Down to 19. Well, let's cycle this Barra's headquarters. Nisa, well, play the forest in doubling season. Don't worry about it. It's not a planeswalker opponent, so it's fine. Actually, if they have a bunch of counters, they might convince themselves not to counter it because they can just counter the planeswalkers and it doesn't do anything. They didn't actually see us go off with it last game. Our opponent going to absorb. Well, hopefully this is not Teferi. That would be, okay, tap land, that's good. Opponent gets and hits us. Well, play a land. And I think we're actually gonna play this Nissa to bait the, the counter. We're down to one doubling season. Opponent. Does have a lot of counters. Passes. So we can still only really do one thing. And they have this Hall of the Storm Giants now, so they actually kind of have a clock. Well, okay. Resolves. That was not expected. Okay, so Breeding Pool untapped. Tap, untap, Nissa X2, do some scrying. Is our opponent out of counters? Ooh, that's Damio. Okay. Well, I mean, this is, this is it. If we get to untap with double mana, we, and our opponent really doesn't have a counter, we win next turn. Ooh, a Tuara to bounce the forest, okay. So this lets our opponent haul the Storm Giants to kill a Planeswalker. Although, so the bad news, so they kill the Nissa, so we don't win this turn. The bad news for our opponent is this does mean, it does mean they're tapped out and we get to doubling season. And play the forest and scry. Two lands, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, two lands to the bottom. We can't play two Planeswalkers next turn anyway. All right, pass the turn. Can they kill the doubling season? Can they answer our Tamiyo? Wow, they're firing it up and just attacking. Oh no, oh no, it is party time. Taking down the control, okay. Well, uh, with these two Planeswalkers in hand, we should win the game. So, uh, Tamiyo, step one, and Emblem Tamiyo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, draw a few cards. And then uh, Ren, yeah, play that for free. <laughs> and we'll ultimate Ren. Get back uh, a few things from the graveyard, doubling season, let's play that. Let's uh, Nissa play that. And we will ultimate to get all the lands out of our deck. <laughs> wow, control. No, I thought this might be a tough matchup, but apparently not. Doubling season, more powerful than Teferi even. All right, get all the lands. 
How long does our opponent sit, uh, stick it out is the question. So now we get to um, play Ugin, now that we've thinned our deck. Gonna, gonna have a casual 28 loyalty. Let's ultimate the Ugin. <laughs> and our opponent scoops it up. And maybe this deck is not as much of a, a meme as I thought. Like, I thought this deck might be pretty janky, but apparently, apparently it can actually get a lot of wins. Doubling Season is such a ridiculously sweet card. Doubling Season Super Friends, all the loyalty, all the combos, all the, all the everything. Except for Jace. We didn't get to see Jace do its thing, but that's that's okay. That's that's okay. That's expected with Jace to go on the sideboard a lot. But overall, like, the deck actually won a lot of games and did it in style for sure. But that's stuff to talk about in the wrap-up. I'll be right back. So what do we learn this week about double bant walkers on Magic Arena and Historic? And overall record-wise, we actually went six and five with the deck. And one of those games I scooped early because I got a phone call, so it probably shouldn't count. But either way, we had a positive win rate with the deck. Most importantly, though, this deck does some absurd things. The only thing I dislike about this deck is once we start going off with the doubling season and all the free planeswalkers and omnisciences from Tamios and Ugans, our opponents just scoop. So we could do even more spectacular things if our opponents actually just like sat through it. But even with that aside, the deck is just ridiculously cool. The power of doubling season with planeswalkers is actually really, really high. So aggro's an issue. That's by far the hardest matchup for the deck because if our deck has a weakness it is pretty slow in doubling season it's kind of a panharmonicon in the sense that you, you have to take a turn off to play it and you might die during that turn but if you can untap with it you are going to do such ridiculous things that it helps make up for the fact that you're kind of spending five mana to do nothing but i really love this deck it does some ridiculous things and i was honestly expecting this to be a pretty against the odds deck i was thinking, you know maybe we win you know 25 percent of the time but that 25 percent is going to be ridiculously sweet well it turns out we actually win more than 50% of the time at Diamond on Arena, and it's still ridiculously sweet. So, gonna cost a lot of wild cards to put it together, but if you want to try something different on Magic Arena, play some doubling seasons, play some planeswalkers, because together they can do some absolutely ridiculous things. So, that's been Double Bat Walkers. That's our much brew for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.